Hey everyone, welcome back. Now we all know the significance of number plates here, but just how much are people spending on them in the UAE? Visa and passport expiry alerts will now be sent through SMS, while the world's biggest indoor theme park is set to be completed here by the end of this year. More news coming up as the world's largest book has finally landed in Dubai, again, and find out why you should be careful while walking the streets of Dubai. It might surprise you. You're with me, Jessica, on The Roundabout. Now we've all gotten excited when we see a cool number plate on the roads and it turns out that the UAE residents are the biggest spenders in the world when it comes to buying rare, expensive number plates. The UAE holds the world record for the most expensive number plate ever auctioned. And this plate is plate number one for a crazy 52 million dirhams in Abu Dhabi in 2008. Now with the UAE also holding the second, third, fourth and fifth most expensive number plates, we have the top five most exclusive number plates in the world driving around on our streets. Remember, a three-digit number plate costs around 200,000 to half a million dirhams. Seems that the fatter your wallet is, the smaller the number plate gets. But you can't afford to pay for it. Tire manufacturer Bridgestone has actually just launched a campaign where new tire buyers could actually win two three-digit number plates, one from Dubai and one from Abu Dhabi. How exciting. Since Monday, a new campaign has been launched where an SMS alert will be sent out to people with expiring passports and visas. The General Directorate of Residents and Foreign Affairs launched the initiative as reminding both nationals and residents of Dubai and the UAE to verify expiration dates to ensure an on-time and legal renewal, as well as keeping important official documents safe from loss or damage. This comes from the Abu Dhabi's Ministry of Interior's enthusiasm in utilising modern methods of communications with society and providing better services for the public. Make sure you check your expiry dates now to avoid any headaches. Following the recent hype of the release of the new Iron Man movie, Ilias and Mustafa Galadadi have confirmed that they are set to both complete and open their 1.5 million square foot indoor theme park by the end of this year, with theme rides based around comic heroes like Iron Man, Spider-Man and the Incredible Hulk. A so-called 5D cinema will add effects such as smell, wind and motion to the 3D IMAX style cinema that the visitors can experience, and the park has the capacity to hold 20,000 people at any given time. Are any of you out there also extreme ride fans like me? Please share your best theme park experiences with us on our Twitter page at The Roundabout 2. Now for all you book lovers out there, the world's largest book has just landed in Dubai at 1,500 kilos. Placed in Dubai's Arabian Centre Mall, the construction of the 429 page book is called This is Muhammad and it took more than 50 people to construct over nine months and is a compilation of the stories highlighting the lifetime achievements of Islam's prophet, as well as Islam's positive influence on both the international and humanitarian scene. When the book was originally made, of course it broke the world's record as the biggest book. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, it'll still be at the Arabian Centre until the end of this month. Now, as lovely as the story is, I'm sure, you'll definitely need more than one pair of hands and legs to turn the pages of this massive book. Have you seen it yet? If you have, please send us in your pictures at the roundabout too. Be careful who you brush your shoulders with on the streets. You might have just crossed paths with one of Dubai's 11 billionaires. New research from London's Wealth Insight has released a top 20 for the world's billionaires. And no surprise, Dubai lands in at the 16th place. New York takes in the first place, followed by Moscow and London. Now it's no secret that Dubai is a hub for global business, and people here are working hard to reach as high as they can in their careers. So, don't give up, you could just end up being number 12 on Dubai's billionaire list. Thank you for joining me today on The Roundabout this week. It was a pleasure talking to you all again. Now don't forget to like us, subscribe, share this video, and follow us on Twitter at The Roundabout too.
Have a lovely weekend. Here's the weather for your week.